would you like to automate some of the service which is mundane provided by these humans? So I'm talking about robotic process automation, where technology comes in very handy for you, Pierre. Mm -hmm. You see, I mean, uh, uh, to some extent, we were doing that. We have some experience of uh, giving, uh, uh, let's say, uh, a sort of a home away from a home facility to particularly NRIs who visited these, uh, you know, Patna. Mm -hmm. Now, normally they are used to certain comfort level. They wouldn't like, they have a house. They have their yes. grandparents, their parents living or a brother, whatever. They could very well stay there. Yes. But they are used to certain standard. So mm -hmm. we did offer, and we were offering, you know, depends on family size and all the two or three room or maybe a bigger suite. So yeah. they could come and stay for a week or 10 days right. uh, together, like yeah. holiday, like yeah. a holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Now they will look for two, three things. Number one is good connectivity. Yes. So they can, you know, access the world mm -hmm. from their room. Mm -hmm. That is a must. They have, they have, they must have good access to information through the news channels, yeah. the TV system, and all that should be, you know, mm -hmm. uh, equipped to uh, deliver that system. Now the food part, they would like to enjoy the local food. Yeah. Now situation would be different. I would mm -hmm. now. They would also rely to be on the safe. I mean, to take precaution, mm -hmm. go on to food which is less likely to be, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> you know, infected or less likely to be. It should be more mm -hmm. simple, uh, diet conscious. All those things will come in organic. I mean, all these things paraphernalia will come in. Mm -hmm. yeah. So one has to adapt your mm -hmm. uh, food service to that extent. Now, automation. Uh, what I feel personally is that uh, for robotic automation for preparation or service. I think uh, it may be feasible for properties of certain size and above. Mm -hmm. You know, if you talk about particularly in India today, we saw the economic size for a five-star hotel today is 200 rooms. Mm -hmm. Now we have less than 100 rooms mm -hmm. in our situation in uh, Patna. Mm -hmm. But for bigger properties where you can reduce people, by adopting those methods. See, the other thing we have to see how situation arises. So we were doing a lot of weddings. Mm -hmm. Now each wedding average, I used, I, I put it that way, average attendance used to be between 300 to 700 people. That is the range. Sometimes mm -hmm. it can be as high as 1,000 people, 1,200 people. That part. Mm -hmm. Now we do have space. We have seven, eight banquet halls and lawn which are available. Mm -hmm. Now how do I reduce people there because to service the thousand people probably a rule of thumb method you need 200 250 service staff yeah. for that yeah. one function mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you can't keep them on the rolls all the time 250 300 people additional mm -hmm. so normal banqueting staff will have will be maybe 50 60 or something like that yeah. now when there suddenly there's a huge demand for a thousand people and uh, in the change situation, people are afraid of pandemic and all that. How can we ensure the cleanliness, hygiene, sanitation for everybody and the food being served? Now, there is, this is, a, I think, area which needs to be examined, how we can do that. Of course, the buffet system is there. There'll be buffet layouts and all that, and there'll be a kitchen uh, supplying material to the buffet. But to, up till now, for example, every... You know, shaping dish, you know, behind the counter, there'll be a person to serve from the dish to the customer. Mm -hmm. Now, that could probably change. Mm -hmm. Now, you'd expect that a customer will come and pick it up himself. Mm -hmm. And the person behind, instead of looking at one station, it looks at three, four stations together. Mm -hmm. That's where you can increase productivity and you can reduce cost. Mm -hmm. Now, whether that will impact your uh, quality of service, I don't know. I mean, that has to be. Uh, seen, but that could become very well the norm for the industry. So, another important aspect you mentioned about how can we scale up and scale down the resources, right? So, we are talking about security service of the past, right? So, people are outsourcing security services, security yes. right? So, for any big function, you can have right. staff to deploy. Similarly, the banqueting service can also be outsourced, or your staffing of the hotel can also be outsourced. So are you thinking of that and where in the US people are talking about gig economy? That means all my permanent staff will be slowly reduced to contract staff or through contract service provider. 
So uh, actually, actually we, have, no, we have done that. We have done that quite a bit in the sense uh, I didn't mention that I should have for the larger banqueting and other facilities. We have a subcontractor yes. who comes in with a team of people with a supervisor and they will take care mm -hmm. of whatever portion of the service we want to outsource from that angle. And we have also had experience, you know, there's a new convention center opened in Patna, mm -hmm. which is uh, across the, you know, the big lawn in front of our hotel, the Maidan, mm -hmm. on the other side. Mm -hmm. Now there, we have catered to a gathering of something like 1,500, 2,000 people. Mm -hmm. Now, which we couldn't do ourselves. We used to, what we do is keep our key person there mm -hmm. and subcontract. Okay. Both the production and the service, both. Even the production part, we have a kitchen there. Yeah, yeah. The full treasure kitchen, and uh, we also have we have subcontract that, yeah. so that's on a per day basis. Yes, but the question mark I will have today: we have to how do we ensure the cleanliness and hygiene? Mm -hmm. Up till now, people didn't care very much about. It. Now people be, they would expect that the persons who are behind the account definitely must wear gloves. They yes. must have a mask on, yes. yeah. and everything must look clean yes. uh, visually. And mm -hmm. it's not dirty and things like that. So those things one will have to emphasize and adapt the uh, situation. But yes, I mean, uh, already, for example, uh, we have already have contractors or we have subcontracted the uh, uh, fumigation part. They come and clean up the premises, the back areas and things like that uh, with a little more, I mean, earlier we're doing it ourselves, but now we've got a professional with the, the uh, you know, the uh, required quality of um, sanitary equipment or with uh, you know the uh, other uh, blowers and things like that to ensure that the things are kept clean and uh, fumigated from that angle. Sure. So yes, I mean there will be a substantial outsourcing of portions of uh, uh, the hotel to that will reduce the cost and probably meet the requirements better. Right. So another aspect of things which uh, people are exploring, in fact, I was talking to other hotel leaders. So now they are thinking and considering and the services which we offer is to automate even your room services, meaning from the room, you can have the touch key, which is the chatbot. Chatbot is com you know, communicating with the guest and you should be able to order whatever you need. You don't need to even pick up the phone. So now you can remove the phone system, remove the TV system, remove even electrical panel, which you have to press yes. button now, can voice activate. Like in the US, we are used to now, I'm sure you are used to as well. So mm -hmm. Alexa, Alexa, turn off the light. Alexa, can you set the temperature yeah. to 60? So those are the things which is coming in through technology. And do you see that, uh, you know, you should be considering in your future those technologies? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I mean, uh, to some extent, we have already adopted in certain areas. As mm -hmm. I said, I was mentioning earlier, the room service or the uh, uh, ordering part in the restaurant is through us, let's say mobile. You can do yes. that on mobile and do it. Now, the lighting system, we, right now we have touch button system. Mm -hmm. So it's there, I mean, the infrastructure is there, but we may have to attach certain devices in yes. between and put in Alexa or Alexa equivalent right. to, through the TV, whatever it is. So you can control it through your voice or you right. can log on from your phone yes. and do that function. But TV remote is very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, TV remote is one small part of it. So those things we are considering and already we are working on those lines. Mm -hmm. How to do it, uh, adapt, um, fully utilizing the present infrastructure we have, just add on to it and sure. control. So because we have done this push, push button system earlier, so it may be easier to you know, go, um, install those things rather than if you're doing on an analog system, which mm -hmm. was the original okay. system, it may have been a little difficult, but easier to do it now, that part of it. Mm -hmm. But okay. certain areas where, uh, uh, for example, in the bathroom, yeah. the tap, the shower and those things, they need to touch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not that automation has not come in yet. It is there. You have, you know, auto flush system. You have auto faucets. You have shower which can automatically turn on. But that will need that means the entire. You have to change the plumbing. You have to change a, a lot of host of other things. That part. So that could be maybe once you have the wherewithal, then one can think of it. Right now, we have to ensure that those are kept absolutely sanitized and cleaned and disinfected. And I put a placard that this has been done 
for this purpose there. And as people are emphasizing, if you wash your hands now and then every time you are, you can easily get rid of the, you know, those viruses anyway. Tail end of the technology, which we always talk about, you are really having the loyal guests, the guests who have always enjoyed having the party function or stayed with you. How are you really keeping in touch with them? How do you really personalize with them? And are you really taking care of them currently when they are in trouble? And are you communicating with, with a very, very, you, know, you have, let's say, over years, large number of guests. You have the guest record and data. Are you really reaching out with those assurances? Uh, we do that because uh, since we have this uh, feedback system with every guest is, at least we have gone to their website and mm -hmm. registered there. And most of have, I would say, 90% of the regular guests would be uh, mm -hmm. available, their uh, contact numbers, everything. So we keep in touch with them, giving information about the hotel, when it is opening, when it is closing, what are the systems we are adding, those things we are, that we are doing. But uh, I think we need to go beyond that. Now we have to uh, mention ki how can we persuade them to come. Yes. Yeah. Right now, because now it's up to them when they want to travel. Yeah. Now, how to persuade them is the next uh, question, which more of is a marketing question. This 